Hello everyone. So today onwards we are uh, going to explore about this UART code protocol. So first we will try to cover uh, all the theoretical part. Means uh, what is the protocol? Uh, where we can use this protocol? In, uh, in uh, how can we write the uh, code for the UART protocol? So basically we are uh, writing code in the web log. And after that we will try to implement on uh, uh, PC hardware. Okay, so uh, I will cover this whole topic in uh, some video by videos. So this is our first video. We will try to just uh, explore basic uh, overview of this UART protocol. Okay, so let's start. So when we heard about this UART protocol, first question which uh, come in our mind that is uh, what is the protocol? So what do you think? What is the protocol? So in general we can uh, say protocol is the set of rules, right? So as we are uh, this discussing this uh, UART protocol in communication, right? So protocol means set of rules in communication. That is the uh, protocol here. Okay. And uh, uh, let's study next thing. That is the uh, what is the master and slave. So while communicating. Uh, we need two things, right? Means uh, uh, communication always happen between the uh, one or means more than two things, right? So here uh, basically master and slave two things are av available. Master, what is the master? And what is the slave? Master means who can initiate something, and slave means who follow the master. It's just like a, a teacher and student, right? The teacher would uh, give uh, some uh, command and the student will follow that, right? So same thing uh, we can uh, just uh, relate here. So master who initiates something like uh, uh, we are doing some uh, transmission between the two devices. Then one device can be the master and other one is the slave. So who initiate? Something either um, transmission or receiver that we called as a master, and who follow that command uh, that we uh, can say as the slave. Okay. Next is the what is on-chip protocol and peripheral protocol. So on-chip protocol. On-chip protocol means it's a communication happen within the SOC means. Uh, there is a SOC uh, system on chip. So in that there are some blocks are available, right? So within a block means block by block communication within a SOC, which is called as a chip protocol. Means uh, what are the protocols we use in that uh, SOC within SOC communication within SOC that we called as the uh, on chip protocol. Okay, like uh, example is AMBA protocol. So what is this AMBA protocol? Uh, we will see in uh, upcoming videos. Next one is the peripheral protocol. So peripheral, what is the peripheral protocol? It's a device to device externally connection. Is if uh, we are connecting one device with the other and uh, trying to communicate means trying to uh, transfer the data from one device to the other device. So in that case, we can use the peripheral protocol. Okay. So example, what are the examples? URT, USB, these are the some peripheral protocol examples. So in this uh, um, uh, video series, uh, we will try to explore about the, the URT protocol. Okay, so that is uh, for under peripheral protocol. Okay. Now let's uh, mo explore more about this on chip protocol. So what is here? It's a it, it is written here. It's communicate between the processors, memory, and peripherals in SOC. So in SOC, what are the things are available? Processors, memory, and peripherals are there, right? So communication between these things. Uh, to communicate uh, between these things, we need to use some set of rules, right? So that is we can say as on chip protocol. So why this protocol is needed? This is an important question, right? Why this protocol is needed? We can directly means uh, we can easily transfer data, right? Uh, without uh, considering other things, we just uh, transfer and uh, receive. 
then what will happen if we will do that like that then we can't achieve the uh, whatever the efficiency we need while data transmission then we can't achieve so that's why we need to use this protocol okay so that we can achieve the efficient data transfer with low latency and high bandwidth so this protocol is needed for uh, to achieve the more efficient data transmission okay in uh, as i have already told uh, the example is amba protocol we can say it's a advanced microcontroller bus architecture which is used in the uh, arm based soc for high speed communication there uh, in the amba we can uh, Categorized into the AXI, HB, and APB. This advanced extensible interface, advanced high performance bus, and advanced peripheral bus. These things we will uh, explore in upcoming videos. Okay. So next one is uh, this peripheral protocol. Let's explore this. So this protocol communicate with an external peripheral like sensor, display, and storage device like uh, SD cards. Okay. So in this peripheral protocol like uh, if you are doing some uh, project and in that you are using some sensors okay so sensors which uh, take some data right means uh, from external it will it will take uh, some data and it is it will give to the your uh, system or uh, hardware right so how the data uh, we can uh, take it from sensor or else we can uh, uh, from the device to the sensor either device to the sensor or sensor to the device how we can send this data transfer this data that is uh, for that we can use this uh, peripheral protocol okay even uh, uh, when we use the sd cards so how that sd uh, card we can access there are, there are also some protocols are there so that falls under this peripheral protocol okay so this uh, in this uh, category peripheral protocol the data transmission can be parallel or serial it's uh, depend uh, depending on the speed and data rate so it's depend how uh, how much data you are sending and what are the data bits you are using so it depend okay so what are the examples uh, falls under this peripheral protocols so do you know about this i2c inter integrated circuit I think those are uh, EC student. They already know about this means. Oh, what is this I2C protocol and other? So this we can this I2C protocol we can use uh, in the whenever we needed low speed and multi device communication. Next one is the SPI serial peripheral interface protocol. High speed with and full duplex data trans, uh, transfer is there. At that time we can use this uh, SPI protocol. So what is this full duplex? There are two terms: full duplex and half duplex. Okay, so full duplex means uh, within same time we can transfer and receive uh, receive the data in the same time. But in the half duplex, at time we can do only one thing: either transfer we can transfer the data or or else we can receive the data. So that is the difference between the full duplex and half duplex. So you need to uh, remember these things because uh, in most of the interview they will ask uh, this full duplex and half duplex. Okay. Next one is the URT, which we are going to uh, see in this uh, video series. So URT means Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Okay. So why we call this uh, uh, asynchronous? We will see in the next video. Okay. So. This UIT protocol where we can use in the serial simple serial communication for peripheral interfacing. Wherever the uh, simple serial communication will be there between uh, peripherals, at that uh, time we can use this UIT protocol. Next one is the USB universal serial bus. You know this means what is the USB and uh, where we can use. It's a high speed communication with external device, right? So this is all about this. Uh, uh, protocols means types of protocols. Uh, here in peripheral protocol, uh, there are four uh, four examples are given. So each one we can use in the different different uh, scenario means wherever the needed we can use that protocol in that particular scenario. So it's all about these protocols. Okay. Now in the next video we will see this uh, 
uh, we will explore uh, about the uid protocol okay thank you